Hey guys, welcome to part 2 of my 3 style tutorial. In part 1, I showed you the basic concept of comms, and honestly that's all you need to get started with 3 style. At this point, it's all about looking at more examples so that you get used to finding the fastest insertion, interchange, and setup moves. So in this video, I'm going to go over a bunch of examples and their solution, but I've carefully selected them so that each one explains a different concept. But before I get started with that, I want to talk about different buffers. Now with 3Style, every cycle you do will include your buffer, and buffers will most often use the moves of the layer that they are on. So if you use DF, it will be easiest to do D, F, and M moves. Likewise, if you use UBR, you will be doing U, B, and R moves. Because of this, the UF buffer for edges and the UFR buffer for corners is said to generate the best comms. Just ask yourself, would you rather do a U-perm on top or a U-perm on bottom? If you use UF, one of the cases you'll get is a U-perm on top, but with DF, one of the cases you'll get is a U-perm on the bottom. Obviously, a U-perm on top is faster. The big question is, should you switch buffers if you don't currently use UF, UFR? Well, the general consensus is you should switch if you plan to take the event seriously. It's actually not that hard to switch buffers. Many people have done so, like Jack, Jeff, Graham, Stanley, and many others. In this video, I'll try to be buffer neutral between DF, UBL, and UF, UFR when I show you examples. Alright, so first let's take a look at corners. In part 1, I showed you a flowchart with a step-by-step -step process for finding comms. It still works, but I won't be using that in this video for the sake of time. So here, the cycle is UBL, LDF, FDR. These two stickers are interchangeable with a D or a D prime. I can insert UBL into LDF with F U F prime. However, I can also insert UBL into FDR with R U two R prime. Obviously, R U two R prime is much faster than F U prime F prime, so we will use that. Since we're inserting into FDR, the interchange needs to bring LDF into FDR spot, so it will be D. UBL needs to go to LDF first, but we're inserting into FDR, so we need to interchange first. The final solution is this. Now in this case, we had two possible solutions. We could have done the F U prime F prime insertion, or the R U two R prime insertion. Obviously, R U two R prime was faster, and there will always be more than one solution for every case. And obviously, you want to pick the fastest one. This is what we mean by speed optimal, the fastest solution. The next case is UBL, FDR, LDF. This is the exact same case that we looked at last time, except UBL needs to go to FDR and then LDF instead of LDF, FDR. Notice that we can use the same insertion and interchange. RU2, R prime inserts UBL into FDR, and D interchanges LDF and FDR. The only difference is that we insert first. So the final solution is... This is a really interesting property of commutators. If A, B does a cycle, then B, A does its inverse. So we had UBL, LDF, FDR at first, and we did D, R, U2, R prime. To do the inverse, UBL, FDR, LDF, all we had to do was swap the insertion and the interchange, giving us R, U2, R prime, D. This is really helpful when you're learning comms, because once you know the solution for one case, you can easily do its inverse by swapping the insertion and interchange. The next case is UBL, BLD, LDF. These two stickers are interchangeable with a D or a D prime. UBL can be inserted into here with B prime, U prime, B, or we can insert it into here with F, U prime, F prime. Notice that we can also rotate so that F, U, F prime becomes R, U, R prime. However, rotations are slow and should be avoided. It's usually faster to do a setup move. Here we can do D, which sets us up to the previous case we looked at. The final solution is... Notice that the setup move and interchange cancelled into a D2. In this case, there were three important concepts. One, you should try to avoid rotations as much as possible. Two, we did a setup move into a case that we already knew. This is really important. Because a lot of times in 3 style, you'll be setting up the cases you already know. And 3, we cancel the setup move and the interchange. Cancellations are pretty common and you should take advantage of them. This case is a bit trickier. 
The cycle is UFR, FDR, RDB. These two are interchangeable, but there's not a fast insertion. We could rotate and do R U prime R, but that's slow. It's fastest to do a setup move U and then insert with R U prime R prime. The final solution is this. And notice how the ending cancels into a simultaneous U prime D. So far, the columns we've seen all use a D interchange. Let's look at some with a U interchange. This is UBL, RDB, UBR. These two are interchangeable with a U, and I can insert this into here with R, D, R prime. The final solution is this. This is UFR, UBR, LDF. These two are interchangeable, and I can insert this into here with R prime, D, R. The final solution is this. This is actually a really fast comm and a lot of cases set up to it. For example, here is UBL, LDF, FUR. It's actually a RU setup into the case we just looked at. The final solution is this. So far, we've only looked at comms that use R, U, and D moves. RUD is considered the fastest move set. However, comms that use RUL moves come in handy sometimes. Some of you may recognize this as the popular last layer alg, Niklas. But did you know that Niklas is actually a comm? The cycle is UBL, RUB, RUF. And these two pieces are interchangeable with an R, and they can insert this into here with U prime, L prime, U. The final solution is this. Here we have UFR, DBR, FDL. And this is another simple RUL. Sometimes you have to do several setup moves. UBL, DBL, BDR. We need to do a D2, R prime setup. And now these two are interchangeable with a D2, and I can insert this into here with R prime U, R. The final solution is this. This is UBL, UBR, DBR. And this one's a bit trickier. We actually need a four move setup. D prime R prime D R is a regripless R U D and it sets up to a nice pure calm. The final solution is. Even though there are other solutions with a shorter move count, this one is faster because it is regripless, rotationless, and R U D. Now at this point, I want to say that most of the comps I've shown you are speed optimal, but a few of them were not. For U B L R D F B D R. It's the same alg, but you want to do a fancy finger trip so we can avoid regripping. Here we slide the U move and finish like that so that we never had the regrip. For this, we can actually do a five move insertion. And Jeff Park can do this really fast. The reason I didn't show you these optimal algs at first is because they're not significantly faster and they can be hard to learn, execute, and remember. Now you don't have to start learning 100% optimal comms because it can be very difficult, but you should use good ones. For example, don't do F prime U prime F prime insertions, or don't do lots of rotations. With this in mind, it also depends on the person. If you have the capacity to learn, you should go for it. But if not, you should start with decent comms and then switch later on. If you're wondering where to find these optimal algs, I will link several lists in the description. And in part three, I'll talk more about how you should go about learning comms. All right, let's take a look at edges now. So here the cycle is DF, LF, LU. These two stickers are interchangeable with an L prime. And I can insert this into here with U prime, M prime, U. So the final solution is, here's a similar one. This is DF, RF, RU. These two are interchangeable with an R. And I can insert this into here with U, M prime, U prime. The final solution is this. Now you might have noticed that that solution and the previous one I showed you are really similar. And in fact they are, because this is a really interesting property about edges. If you have a buffer on the M slice, then every comm on the left side can also be mirrored to the right side. And that's why the first comm I showed you compared to the second one were pretty much the same except they had L moves instead of R moves, or R moves instead of L moves. Here's a UF case. We have UF, DL, BU. These two are interchangeable with an M. 
and I can insert this into here with u l2 u prime. The final solution is this. This case is uf ur rd. These two stickers are interchangeable with a u prime, and I can insert this into here with r e r prime. The final solution is this. Here we have df, rf, ul. These two are interchangeable with an f prime. And I can insert this into here with r, s, r prime. The final solution is this. So in this column and in the last column I showed you, I used e moves and s moves. Now I know that these are foreign move sets, but e and s moves are your friend. Do not avoid them. They are crucial in becoming fast. At the end of the video, I will go over the basics of finger tricking these slice moves, and I may do a more in-depth video in the future. Now, one of the most interesting properties about edges are what's called form movers. So form movers are four moves that do a three cycle. They don't follow the standard one move interchange, three move insertion. Instead, they are one slice move, followed by a 180 degree face turn, and then undo the slice move and undo that face turn. So as you can see, when I did those four moves, it did a three cycle. Let's take a look at this case. This is df, ub, uf, and the solution is a four mover similar to the one I just showed you. It's m prime, u2, m, u2. This case is df, ul, ur, and it's actually a u setup into a four mover. This one here is df, F R U L, and it's a R U prime setup into that form mover. The final solution is this. Now it doesn't always have to be only on the M slice. We can actually do the same one slice move 180 degree face turn on the E and S slices. For example, slice move 180 degree turn, undo slice move, undo face turn. And you can see here that a three cycle was done. So obviously these three pieces are not a part of our buffer, but we can use these E4 movers if we set up to them. For example, here we have UF, DF, RB, and we can actually do a F setup so that now the pieces are in position to do the E4 mover and then undo the setup move. This one is DF, LD, UR, and we can do a U, L, F prime setup into an LE form mover. The final solution is this. Here we have UF, UB, DR, and we can do a U prime setup so that these three pieces are aligned to do an S form mover. Okay, so now I'm going to go over some basic slice move finger tricks. So for M moves, I put my forefinger on DB and push up like that. For M prime, I put my forefinger on BD and push. For M2, you can double flick or you can do Ishan M2, which is basically an L move and then a wide L prime M prime at the same time. Now all of these finger tricks can be mirrored. Like I've been doing that with my left hand, but you can use your right hand, maybe your right ring finger or like this. M and M prime can also be done as a wide move and an outer move. For E moves, you can use your third finger to push the E slice. And same thing with the right hand. E2 can be double flick, just like U2. For S moves, you can use your index to pull here or push here. And obviously you can mirror this to the other hand as well. S2 moves are really slow and should be avoided at all costs. But if you absolutely have to do them, you can single flick them or maybe something fancy like this. All right, that's it for part two. In part three, I will talk about how to learn three style by going over the different approaches to learning and then talking about my personal journey with three style. So like always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I will be happy to answer them. Thanks for watching.